What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is how to check if a key exists inside your dictionary using Python. Okay, so super quick and easy tutorial here, really useful Python concept. If you have a dictionary, so I'll just call it my dictionary and yours could be anything. A dictionary is any set of key value pairs and what I mean by that is you have a key or a lookup value and then um, it, a value to go with it so let's say in the case of a grade book you had like each student's name and then you had what their most recent grade was okay so I'm gonna make a little dictionary here with just four entries some names and like what their grade on the most recent test was um, but let's say that you had a list of every student in the school or something like that and this dictionary is huge and so you want to create a function that's basically going to check and see if a specific key exists. So we'll call that variable key check but it's just going to be whatever you want to look up um, and we'll make that an input so a user can actually ask like um, enter the key you want to check. Okay. So there, we're going to, and if I were to run this right now, it's not going to really do anything, but it is going to ask you to enter the name of the key you want to check. Enter the key you want to check. If I just said Pete, it's just going to finish the code because we're not doing anything with it yet. But that's my setup. The way you check if that key exists in your dictionary before trying to uh, display it, um, so the super easy thing to do would be just assume that they're only going to ask the name of students that exist and that would be just printing out the dictionary value of that key check and so if I were going to do this this would be assuming you're only ever going to be entering the name of students that exist so if I said Pete great it tells me the grade but if I run that again and I give it a name that doesn't exist like um, I don't know, Jacob it just gives you an error it says key error okay so what you really want to do is only run this line of code if that key exists in your program and the way to do that is actually um, super easy you just say if key check so the key that you're looking for in and then my dictionary whatever the name of your dictionary is and then dot keys okay so dot keys is a list of all the keys that dictionary has and you're just checking if your key that you're looking for is in the keys list of that and so if it is let's do two things let's print key exists and then we'll print the value just like before and let's throw an else in here to say print key does not exist and in your function in your program you could use um, you could use you know the result of the key check to do one of two things like either take that key and use it um, going forward or return to user input and ask them for more input so let's run that and see what this does okay key we want to check let's check for George key exists great we get an 83 now let's go ahead and say we want to check for um, Dennis key does not exist so there before when we were entering a key that didn't exist we were getting an error it was kind of canceling the code and it was it was broken code now it just says key does not exist but it still finishes the program so that's it for this video I'm not gonna gum it up with a whole bunch of other concepts if you are using Python 2 the only other thing I'll say is you could do my dictionary and then it was actually dot um, has key has underscore key that got eliminated in Python 3 so there's not even really a, a reason to talk about it here much but if you are using Python 2 an older version of Python there was a built-in has key function you can Google that I'm not gonna show how to use it because it's pretty irrelevant most people are using Python 3 going forward so I hope you found this concept useful please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you did find it useful I put a ton of content out constantly and that support really helps me out as always, good luck with your code. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.